it's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2023 Escape plug-in hybrid in race red with ebony leather interior seating for five, four doors and a hatch. And this has a 2.5 liter hybrid engine. It's an Atkinson. It has an automatic transmission and it's a front wheel drive. It also has a class two trailer tow hitch, reverse camera, and many more features. If you'd like to take this beauty out on a test drive, you can book it online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a 2.5 liter Atkinson hybrid engine. And yes, it is running. And it also has an automatic transmission and it's a front wheel drive. Let's have a look inside speaker in the door and the B&O badging for your audio system. You have power locks, windows and mirrors, as well as memory for three drivers. The driver's seat is powered with lumbar and all weather mats on the floor. You have your lift gate release, gas cap release, as well as your lighting controls. And then on the face of the steering wheel, we have our lane keeping and cruise control, volume, menu and hands-free dialing. And this is a push start. So my foot's on the brake, keys in the pocket, and we're gonna push the engine start stop button. You notice that it says ready off on the left-hand side and it's nice and quiet. And that's because this is a plug-in uh, hybrid, which uses a lithium ion battery. So as we're idling and we're about to propel, that's when the battery kicks in. And then after that, we use the gas. You've got a heads up display. I don't know how well you can see this. So it shows us the uh, reading for the speedometer and um, it reads signs. So that's kind of nice. So if you're like me where you don't need glasses to drive, but you can't see the dash very well, it's a little fuzzy. This heads up actually gives you a good view. And so you can see what your speed is. And then in the center, we have our display screen. This is nice and big and we're seeing heated seats, the dual climate control for driver and passenger, as well as heated steering wheel. There's your fan, front and rear defrost, your AC. And then off on the side, we have the different options. We're seeing the map here for navigation and we can go into settings for the different options that are available and just slide through. And so you have this mini map on the side, but you can slide through for whatever you want. This is a protective cover. So General's got your measurements in there, display. You can change the look of the display screen so you can dim it out if you want to in the nighttime or whatever works for you. You've got mobile apps and so forth. And these all have sub menus. And when you put the vehicle in reverse, this is where you're gonna see your backup camera view. So you've got a 360 camera. So you're seeing where you are in space and you are also seeing out the back here because I've put us in reverse. So we're seeing the center line, green, yellow, red is just telling us how close we are to other objects or vehicles when going in reverse. So let's put us back into park. And down below we have our hazard lights and we also have our stop start, our volume. There's our camera and I'm gonna show you that in a second. There's your parking assist. So it's active parking assist and you have your drive modes. So that will appear on your dash. Now in some places it is on your dash in some places it is here in your LCD. So there's normal and I'm just gonna go back in here. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna pop in there. We can touch on eco, sport, slippery. So as your road conditions change, as your weather changes, you can go in there and make changes to your drive mode to give you more or less traction and control as you need it. Okay, and you've got the EV as well, EV now, auto or later. And then as well, I was mentioning the camera. So I'm gonna press this. What this is showing me is out the front. I'm not in gear. It is simply giving me a view. So before you even head out, you can see what's ahead of you, which is kind of nice and get out of there. And there's your max front um, defrost. You have your USB, USB, USB-C, USB, a 12 volt and a wireless charging pad to be able to charge up your dial shifter, electronic parking brake and auto hold. So if you're on an incline or you're towing, and this has a class two trailer tow hitch, you would use that to keep you in place. A couple of cup holders, little cubbies and places to put things. And then your armrest is quite generous. You can throw things in there. And then off to the side is your glove compartment. You have an auto dimming rear view mirror, universal garage door opener. You have your lighting controls, sunglass holder, and you have a power twin panel moonroof that you can open up. Now it goes as far as you're seeing that bar and you also have a screen, so you have a separate button for that. I'm not opening it today because it's quite wet and I don't get rained on, but on a nice day, this is a really nice feature and you can open up, get some sunlight, get some air, and you can control that forwards and backwards using the buttons. And then there's a grab handle in the body and that just makes it easier to get it's in. It's a plug-in hybrid. Now it has a regular engine, but it also has a lithium ion battery. So you use that during idle time and to be propelled. So it helps you save on gas. So your support located here, you just press on it, open it up and you see these lighted areas. This will light up completely blue when it's fully charged and then you're ready to go. Just close it up and head out. 15 inch wheels, mud flap 
and you're seeing your charge port, you also have intelligent access. So that means when the fob's in close proximity, you can lock and unlock the doors. And you'll notice in here, if you rub on it, you're gonna see lights come up and that's because you have the keyless entry. And then driver's side capless, easy fuel gas filler. A little bit of a spoiler in the rear as well as the windshield wiper. And below the escape badge is where your backup camera's located, backup sensors on your bumper, a class two trailer tow hitch. And when you're ready to open up that lift gate, simply double click your fob. It powers it open and then you have access to the back here. You have got extra carpeted mats and what you're seeing here is what we call a, a privacy screen or a tonneau cover. So you can clip that in and as you can see, it's very easily put out of the way if you don't need it. And then underneath we have our tire and when you wanna close up, there's a handle on the right. You can also push the button and then it'll chime, go down easily for you, and then you can just lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. and speaker in the door, as well as power windows. There's seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. You have your headrest located here, and you just pull the handle at the base to bring the seat right down. You now have access to the back cargo area, and you're seeing extra mats there. There's also anchors on the back of the seat to be able to tether baby seats. Then just give the seat a push back into the upright position, and you have this arm rest with a couple of cup holders, all weather mats on the floor and slim pockets on the back of the front seat. Your air vents are located there and down below is where you've got your outlets for the USB. You've got this nice twin panel moonroof up top as well as hooks and handles. LED tail lights, reverse park assist as well as active park assist. So when you're parking in a spot, it helps you to do that. You also have privacy glass in the back windows with window vents, adjustable side view mirrors with blind spot information system, LED headlights, fog lights, front sensors and camera, and many more features. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we love to hear your comments.